It's hard to quantify something as subjective and intangible as someone's favorite thing. Love by its very nature is unreasonable and undefinable. But I'm not being hyperbolic when I claim to love Shining Force. I've certainly played many RPGs before and since discovering this quite personal gaming obsession. I've played RPGs with more interesting stories, deeper characters, prettier graphics, and better tactics. But no other experience compares to the nostalgic affection that comes with a session of Sega's one perfect creation. Oh, Shining Force, why do I love thee? Let us count the ways. No, really, I, I want to share all the things that I absolutely adore about this stupid game. Starting with number 10. Despite its somber color palette and serious world on the brink of destruction storyline, Shining Force is a really silly game. Just about every NPC you interrogate has something ridiculous to say, and that's just the standard filler dialogue. Each town also features some variety of amusing skits as a welcomed intermission between all that constant warring. I simply adore a game with the confidence to never take itself too seriously. And if more strategy RPGs alternated between combat deployment and sideshow amusement, I'd enjoy the genre a lot more in general. 9. Whether it's hidden characters, Tao's Bikini, or Yogurt's army of fighting hamsters, there's a ton of secret content that you're unlikely to discover on your first trip through the Land of Rune. And I'm just gonna spoil it all right here. Er, sorry about that. 8. I've played and replayed Shining Force so many times that I now consume it like I read my favorite book flip to a random chapter and keep going. We all know the struggles of abandoning an RPG mid-playthrough and losing all sense of orientation when we eventually pick it up again weeks later, but that's a problem I'll never encounter with my tactical bay. Beginning, end, someone else's save file, it's all the same to me. I just want to fight shit. 7. I know that when you compare them directly, many fans prefer Shining Force 2 to the original. It has the cheerier atmosphere, brighter colors, and quality of life improvements. But in terms of sheer style, give me Shining Force 1 any day. For me, nothing beats the iconic battle in the circus tent fighting possessed marionettes, or the sci-fi intrigue of the ancients and their lost tech repurposed for medieval warfare. I even find the game's history book presentation with chapters and narrative interludes to be a pretty classy touch. 6. If I were to discover Shining Force today, for the first time, would I fall in love all over again? Probably not. I'm sure I'd still enjoy it, it's a great game regardless, but I doubt it would captivate my imagination as an adult the same way it did when I was a child. Nostalgia is powerful magic, and Shining Force was there at a time in my life when I needed escapist adventure the most, just as other nerds grew attached to a certain Squaresoft RPG at a pivotal point in their development. 5. I don't often discuss music in my videos, and for good reason. I don't have much of an ear for it. Seriously, the most insightful thing I can say about a game's soundtrack is either Wow, I love this! Or Wow, I hate this. And when it comes to Shining Force, I definitely love it. Each tune sweeps me away to the fourth grade when the notes first carve themselves in my oral memory. From the haunting melody of Shade Abbey to the regimented drumbeat of the Battle March, each song is simply iconic of the many adventures that I've shared with Max and crew. Four. You could take a random stack of RPGs from any era, spread them out all over the floor, and spit. Chances are you just hawked a loogie on some sort of medieval-based fantasy game featuring some dude with a big sword fighting angry green uglies. And Shining Force is no different, at first. But gradually the game sheds its Tolkien skin and hints at a high-tech world once populated with mystifying AI systems and badass robots. This transformation was captivating to eight-year-old Daria and I can appreciate it all the more now that I see just how unique this setting was, especially in 1992. 3. There doesn't exist another character collectathon where I love every available recruit. Because either they look awesome or kick Roomfoss butt. But here we are with 30 solid options. Picking just 12 is excruciating. But whoever you include in your lineup, you never have to worry about screwing yourself over. Even the weaker characters are perfectly playable and stat-boosting consumables and special equipment allow you to add that personal touch to your team customization. 2. Okay, I know I just talked about characters, but that was more like in terms of strategy and roster building. I also love the imaginative range of fantasy race representation. You have your generically tropey elves and dwarves and humans, but Shining Force takes inspiration from other literary and film sources by including a ton of creatures you just won't find in other RPGs. 
We have hobbits, gelflings, birdmen, hamsters, werewolves, dragons, robots, armadillo warriors, McDonald's fry dudes, and centaurs. One. That's right, I said centaurs. I challenge you to find another RPG series that includes majestic horsemen of Grecian mythology. They're not even an obscure legend. You'd think they'd be a lot more commonplace in fantasy games. But no, game devs have their heads so far up the D&D token butthole of fantasy world building that no one even thinks to offer playable horse people. But here comes Sega riding to the rescue with not one, nor two steedmen, but seven. And I'll be damned if I'm not going to include every single beautiful equine bastard in my party. Thank you, Sega. And there you have it. Just ten of the reasons why my heart thumps for Shining Force. If you found my enthusiasm infectious and are dying to know more about Shining Force in a more structured review format, then I strongly suggest that you head over to Super Derek's channel, The Game Collection, and subscribe. Click that notification bell button. Hell, click mine too while you're at it. I will be participating in an in-depth collaborative review of the game sometime soonish. And of course, while you wait on that video, I have a related review of the Shining Force sequel on the Sega Game Gear, if you haven't already seen it. Once again, Thank you for watching. Dari out.